Right, today in this short video, I'd just like to show you a new revolutionary design and setup to be able to regrind spot drills, center drills, and very small drills on the lathe. And with this new setup, you can get a near perfect factory regrind on these tools. And I'm showing this new setup on my Myford ML7, but you can also incorporate this idea on many other lathes. Plus, you need very little equipment to do so. You need one of these tool post drills that I've made here with an 8mm roller bearing in each end for an 8mm spindle. Some collet chucks. This is an ER20. I have ER16 and ER11 and these ones can be simply fitted to a piece of bar. I've got um, 8mm stainless steel here and it's just locked in with a grub screw and this one obviously fits my tool post drill. And also you need a diamond cup wheel. You can get them in various different grades. Make up an arbor. I've just made one out of aluminium to fit a collet chuck. And that's about it. And just before I go over to the lathe, I'd just like to say that I've seen other people use another method on the lathe to try and regrind these. They put them in a revolving um, collet chuck on the lathe and then use a grinding tool thinking that you can actually revolve the spot drill and the grinder at the same time to put a cutting edge on this one and get a perfect angle. I found that it's totally impossible to do that. It destroys the cutting edge but also rounds the nose. So don't bother with that method. And with this method that I'm going to show, you can even regrind um, carbide spot drills. Also, it takes off the minimal amount of the spot drill. Uh, when these blunten, it's normally just the center here that uh, goes dull. And all they really need is a lick up on the diamond wheel. And if you try my method, you'll be pleasantly surprised. So I've got my diamond cup wheel in the ER40 collet chuck on the lathe. And you should be familiar with this um, tool post drill if you've watched any of my other videos. It's basically a round vise which is bolted onto a piece of a square bar that fits into the... Um, tool post holder and can be used for drilling across the lathe. So what I do is take out the housing and the Jacobs chuck and then I take out one of the two Allen screws, the one at the back and then loosen the front one off and tilt the vise down. I've got a scribed mark on my um, vise here on the diameter um, for spot drills, which I um, did earlier. And I've got this piece of angled brass here to line up with that um, line or mark. And then I know I'm the right angle for that particular tool. Like that. Um, I offered the tool up to the um, diamond cup wheel and got my various different settings and angles. And then I put a square on here and scribed across the um, round vise on the diameter there. And just drilled and tapped this for a 4BA screw and screwed that one on. And I can put various different markings on here for centre drills or ordinary drills as I go. Next I undo the nut here to move the tool post around. 
Um, now I take out these two screws here um, because they get in the way of the um, tool holder. It needs to go down as low as possible um, to be the right position on the cup wheel. At some point I'm going to um, draw a socket for those for the actual head of the Allen screw. So they're beneath this surface here. But bring this one round and I've already um, set my angle. You can again just offer the tool up against the front face of the cup wheel and get that angle, preferably on a new tool. And then tighten that one up. And that um, there is at its lowest point on my um, tool post block. And then I can put my bearing housing back in the vise. There's a little V in that one, so get that in the V and then bring it back to its furthest position and lock up the vise. And then I can simply put the spindle in that one with the ER20 collet chuck in it with the tool already um, locked in. You can do this on the vise. Also when you're doing the um, sharpening or the grinding you don't have to take the tool out of the um, collet chuck each time. You just wind back the um, carriage and take out the tool like that for inspection. And you only take it out of the collet when it's finished. So just to show you again, I've loosened the uh, tool post nut there again. And I'll show you how I set the angle. You can pull the tool out until you get it nice and flat on the front face of that diamond cup wheel and then tighten the tool post up. And you can see there that I've zeroed the clock on the carriage so that I'll be going into exactly the same position for each side. And if you've just set one of these up you can blue the end and keep the diamond wheel dry um, do the first grind and see that you're correct on the angles or whatever. But when I'm using it, I spray with like a WD Type 40 oil. And there you see that you get a perfect profile. And I'm absolutely really pleased with the results. And like I said earlier, I can even now do these tiny little drills and get them perfectly sharpened and ready to use.
So that's about it. On this MyFit ML7 now, I've got a decent sized tool post, a tool post drill, a drill powered milling fixture, a tool lapping table, and this drill regrinding fixture.